It didn't take that long. Uh, let's let's launch it here. So now you hold E for options and release the ship and hopefully the water is deep enough and we don't break to bits. Let's go. Yar, me mateys, yar, yar. <coughs> <coughs> ah, sorry guys, had a little semen in my throat. Um, what's up guys? Royale with Cheese here and welcome to a special episode of Atlas. That's right. On today's episode, I want to show you guys how to make a sloop, much like the one I made here. This is the SS Harp Shedder. Sharp Cheddar, as I like to call it. Um, it's pretty cool. It's the very first uh, real ship you can build beyond like a raft and a dinghy. Uh, my, my design also has a little hidden compartment down here. Uh, where you could put some storage, or if you're on PvP, you could probably hide some chests down here. I used it to put my smithy, so it's not on deck. Uh, I wish I could have put the beds down there, but unfortunately I couldn't get that to work. But, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe! Alright, I'll see you guys back in a minute. And we're back! Okay. Uh, the first step to building your own ship or a sloop we're building in this case uh, You have to start at the smithy. I'm gonna leave it to you uh, your own devices to figure out how to make a smithy It's not very hard. You just have to unlock the skill and then build it But okay, you go into the smithy you go into structures go into shipyard Small and we're gonna craft the small shipyard to get things going here We just gotta wait for this to craft And boom nailed it. Okay, we have our small shipyard now we're going to run it out. Um, there's only one thing you really have to pay attention to when you place this. You want to make sure that the water is deep enough so that when you launch your boat, it will not break everywhere. I'm not sure if they've updated this yet, but at the time of this recording, um, it will allow you to put uh, the shipyard in water that is too shallow. And then when you launch your boat, it'll break into bits. So um, you, you want to make sure you don't do that. So just make sure we're going to try to find, like we could place it right here. But I think this is too shallow. I think it'll the boat will break if we place it right here. I'm going to try to find a spot where we can actually put the boat. This is looking pretty good-ish right here. Okay, there we go. We got our shipyard. Now, if you look in the shipyard, it says you need to... This is what you need to craft, to gather up to make the frame of the boat. So we need 120 fiber, 12 metal, 220 thatch. And 140 wood. Uh, we're going to gather that right up and we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. I've gathered up the necessary materials. As you can see, we have 140 wood, 12 metal, uh, 120 fiber, 220 thatch. And we hit craft. Now that will craft. And boom. Now it just makes the frame or skeleton of the boat. And now you have to go make the pieces to fill it in. So let's go make the pieces and I'll bring you guys right back. And we're back! Okay, we're back here at the smithy. Um, we're gonna go back into structures, into ship construction this time. Uh, you need to make one wheel, which is 14 fiber, 18 thatch, 40 wood. We're gonna make that. And then we need to make, go into small, go into planks. And we need to make 12 of these, so we need a lot more thatch. All right, let's grab some thatch out of the resource chest. Sorry, boys. Stealing thatch from the boys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Throw all that in there. Okay. Structures. Ship construction. Small. Plank. We only make two. What do we need more of? Uh, wood. Okay. Gather more wood. Um, as you can see, these are pretty expensive. Um, can I move? I can. Each one costs... Uh, as I slowly work my way over there. Get all the wood in here. We made two so far so we need 10 more structures ship construction small plank each one costs 80 fiber 70 thatch and 80 wood so they are not cheap by any means but we're going to make 10 more get those crafting and while we're waiting for that to craft we also need one deck so uh, the deck costs 40 fiber 120 thatch and 40 wood we're going to set that to craft um now we're going to go into our inventories over here um to fill in, you also need to fill in your deck. So we need, uh, let's see, what do we need? 
thatch. We need fiber. Where's the thatch? That's the fiber. Thatch, thatch. Okay. We need, wait, some of this wood back. Give me some. We need to make some ceilings and a wall. We're going to go to ceilings. We need about five, six. We're going to make 10 ceilings. We're going to make one wooden wall. Craft. We're going to make one door. Door. Okay. Well, we're going to let all this stuff craft up. And I'll meet you guys back over at the ship. Very slowly. And we're back. Okay, we're back here at the boat skeleton. We have the 12 planks, the deck, a door, one wall, 10 ceilings, and the ship's wheel. Okay, so I'm going to take the planks, and the planks just kind of snap in. You can just pretty much snap them in wherever they're going to go. There's no wrong way to do this. They just fill in the empty skeleton of the boat. Boom, nailed it. Then you place your deck. Boom, deck is placed. There we go, we're, we're getting there. Now pull out your ceilings, and you just fill in the gaps with the ceilings. Now, um, on one of these ceilings, I'm gonna make a trap door. You can pick to put that wherever you'd like. I like to put mine in the back. So as you can see, I have the ceiling laid out here to put in. I push T, and it allows me to pick what model I wanna use. And I'm gonna use the trap door model, T, and that'll actually put a little trap door ceiling in. It's a really, really cool construction thing in uh, Atlas. And also, now I'm going to take a regular door. Now, if I pull that out, it'll allow me to place that as the hatch frame. So there you go. You place your door as a hatch frame. And now you have a little hidey hole into the bottom of the boat down here. Which is really, really cool. So now you can make some storage down here. If you take your wall now and go to place your wall, but you change that. So again, I'm going to tee the wall. So I'm going to tee. And I'm going to keep teeing. I want to tee around. These are all the different models you can make. But I'm going to go to half wall, like so. And then I can put a ceiling off of that. And I can make a little floor down here. Ceilings are here already. So ceiling. Build myself into a corner here. Ceiling. Now on this back ceiling, um, it'll place like that. Or you can... Actually, I'm just going to place it like that. Place, yeah, there it goes. And ceiling. So now we have a nice little storage spot down here. You can put a smithy down here. Uh, I wish I could put the beds down here. I haven't been able to get the bed work to work down here. It says obstructed. But you can put storage down here and all sorts of other things. It's really, really cool. Um, and then the ship's wheel. Uh, but we're going to wait on the ship's wheel. We're going to go make our sail first. And then we'll come back and place the sail on the ship's wheel. And we're about ready to launch. We'll be right back. And we're back. All right, this time we're over at the loom to make our sails. Um, I'm going to, again, leave it upon yourselves to figure out how to make the loom. It's fairly simple. It's in the skill tree. You have to pass it to get to the shipwright. So you'll have it unlocked. Um, I'm going to make the medium speed sail. Um, the SS Harp Cheddar has two small sails. And I'm going to make the medium speed sail. And to be honest, I'm not sure which is faster. But if you want to find out, uh, make sure and check out my next video because my very next video is going to be racing uh, a sloop with two speed sails against a sloop with one medium speed sail because I, I really don't know which one is faster. And I want to know for myself because uh, as you're sailing around, you'll be uh, chased by um, the ship of the damned, the bad pirate, ghost pirate ships that are around. Or if you're on a PvP server, perhaps, you're, you're going to want as much speed as you can get, in my opinion. So... I'm going to either go with the two small speed sails like the SS uh, Sharp Cheddar over there or the one speed sail like this one's going to have. So you go to place your speed sail and it's going to have uh, snap points. So you can place it wherever you want. Uh, since we're just doing the one sail on this boat, I'm going to place it probably close to the middle-ish. Like about there. And then I'm going to take my ship's wheel, place that down. And we'll get it nice and centered so it looks good. Now, me personally, I'm going to... Oh, it's letting me put it way in there. I'm going to put it really close to the sail. Um, because if you're operating the ship by yourself, you're going to want to be able to get on this, get on the wheel, go around, adjust the sail, get on the wheel, adjust the sail. So you got to do that manually if you're all by yourself. So uh, I would put the sail really, really close to the ship's wheel. 
um, especially if you plan on sailing by yourself. And that's about it, guys. Uh, of course, you can add all whatever you want to it. I'm going to add a bed and a chest and some other things, a smithy. But all in all, this is a completed sloop. As you can see, it didn't really take that long. The hardest part is just gathering up the materials. Um, luckily enough, we have an elephant and a bull and some gather dinos. So it really didn't take that long. Uh, let's, let's launch it here. So now you hold E for options and release the ship. And hopefully the water is deep enough and we don't break to bits. Let's go. And we didn't. And we name our sloop. This will be the sloop D-O-double-G. That's right. Sloop D-O-double-G in the house. And let's, uh, full sails. Yar, we're off to sea. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If this helped you out or you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese!